Matt. I am writing to you because although a great evil is receding from Sanctuary, a new festering curse now spreads its corruption across the land. More dangerous, more malignant than I could have imagined. I have found a way to stop this plague. To rip the dark power of these monsters from their very core and turn it to our advantage in destroying them. But I cannot do this alone. My allies have fallen. My strength is dwindling. The malignant are relentless and without mercy. I need help. I need you. Hey, what's going on guys? Be Flatten here with a brand new video today. Today we're going to be talking about Season 1 for Diablo 4. You just saw the trailer for the uh, season. This is going to be going live on July the 20th. Uh, so that's in two weeks from the launch of this video. There is going to be a thing on July 18th as well. I'm going to be talking about that in just a little bit. Let's go ahead and talk about Season 1. Uh, it is going to be taking place post Diablo 4 story. They did uh, stress to make sure that uh, campaign is done first so that you can dive right into the season. Um, they say that corruption is spreading. We have the new NPC, which is going to be Cormand, the guy that you just saw in the trailer. He is a former Cathedral of Light priest. He attempts to tackle this corruption by himself, but he is unable to, so he calls upon us to be able to uh, suppress this. Um, these are called malignant enemies malignant enemies are going to be like elites but are going to be stronger um anytime you encounter an elite it has an opportunity to be a malignant version that will appear and hearts will drop from this that will start a ritual to spawn a stronger malignant elite um if you defeat this malignant elite the stronger version a caged heart will drop and it's used like a gem that's socketed into gear for stronger builds, they say that it goes into your rings or your amulet slot that will have um, what's called uh, vicious malignant slots. You put in the caged hearts into those vicious malignant slots, and then it does different abilities uh, based on like what a jewel would do, but uh, they have different effects and things like that. Um, they have it in three different colors, so there are, is going to be a little bit of RNG in here, but with some targeted farming as well. Uh, there are three different colors of sockets and four different types of hearts. There's the three matching colors to match the three different types of sockets. And then there's a global one that can fit in any uh, slot. So that's the fourth type. Um, they have something called malignant tunnels as well that has a chance to find the correct color. Basically what it is is that you um, invoke or empower um one of these slots so that it can uh turn to the color that you want then you defeat the uh superpowered elite the malignant superpowered elite and then you get to have the opportunity for that uh socket to drop so that you can have a little bit of targeted farming as well uh july 18th new rewards changes and seasonal items will become available in the eternal realm so they're going to be dropping a patch on july 18th and that's when all this new stuff is going to be coming on over so it could be played with a little bit is what they were talking about i don't know exactly what's going to be transferring over but they did say that um the seasonal stuff will become available on july 18th on that patch but july 20th is when seasonal characters can be rolled Season journey feature is going to be our um, list of things to do, basically. There are seven chapters, new legendary aspects. You obtain favor for the battle pass is what it is. So as you complete the tasks in your uh, journey, you get favor. You tr uh, transform favor into battle pass stuff, which is going to be like cosmetics and things like that. Um, and like mentioned earlier, you must complete campaign to dive into the seasonal mechanics, of course. Um, if you get the premium battle pass as well, the premium battle pass is going to be cosmetic only. They did uh, stress that out in the um, stream. They said that premium battle pass is cosmetic based only. Um, 
but everyone gets a free version of the battle pass as well so you will always be able to um interact with a battle pass of some sorts whether you pay or whether you don't pay um on season reset the fog of war carries over along with your renown level one they said that we'll have five skill points but i believe it's 10 i think that was a mistake um and nine potion charges just for making a level one character for having your renown uh once the july 18th patch goes live log in with the character that has the most progress they did also say that if you have uh, progress in different variances across different alts and characters you can log into each of those on that july 18th and then all of it will collectively pass over to your seasonal character so that you can start with these skill points start with those potion charges and uh, you'll be good to go for that um i think that's pretty much everything that um is talked about from there they talked about um smoldering ashes as well as a feature it's a, a bonus currency for like xp and uh bonus traits and things like that it requires levels um so and once you hit like level 40 for example um they're also limited based on level of the player so that even if someone were to use uh, tier skips yeah they, even though they might get to the tier that says free smaller ashes it, 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 it doesn't like that it's just like a, a seasonal currency of some sort but it's also a pretty cool feature to have in there as well uh two weeks from now two thursdays from now is when we'll be seeing the um launch for season one i will absolutely be playing over on my twitch channel i'm going to be doing uh, a co-op run so if you want to play seasons i plan to um, absolutely grind my face off in the season because um, it's going to be my first one and I'm very, very excited for it. I will see you guys there. I hope that covered pretty much all the main things. If you have any questions, feel free to comment them in and I will answer it as best as possible. And I will see you guys uh, in the next video. My name is B. Flattened and I'm signing on out of here. Take care all. Laters.